A plastic bag ban is one step closer to becoming law in Massachusetts after the state Senate passed the Plastics Reduction Act. State Senator Becca Rauch introduced the legislation and she's joining us live this morning. Plastic bag bans are already in effect in much of the state. So what is this uh, legislation accomplishing? And good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for having me. I am so proud of the Plastics Reduction Act and so grateful to all of my colleagues. Um, one of the really important things of the of the many that this bill will do is to implement that statewide plastic bag ban. And while it's true that we know more than nearly two thirds, more, more than two thirds actually, of the people who live in the Commonwealth already have some kind of plastic bag restriction in place in their community. Um, this law will make it consistent all across the state so our businesses don't have to figure out what happens between one town and the next town and the, the third town, et cetera. Um, we'll also be putting in some limits on plastic food service wear, like cups and straws, um, and several other really important uh, plastic reduction measures. And Becca, what do you see? as the main impacts of this legislation on not only health, but the environment, of course. Sure. Well, the plastics industry uh, actually releases about four times more global warming emissions every single year than the airline industry. 99% of plastics start with fossil fuels and petrochemicals. So we know that reducing plastic is absolutely essential to protecting our planet and taking the climate action that is absolutely necessary in order to meet our 2030 and our 2050 goals and to create a livable planet or ensure a livable planet for generations to come. In Massachusetts, we already toss out 900,000 tons of plastic waste every single year. And this bill has carefully crafted smart measures in place in order to reduce that waste. Wow, those are shocking, scary numbers, Senator. What What's the next step in the process? Sure, the bill now goes to our colleagues in the House of Representatives for their consideration. Uh, we have uh, several weeks, but inevitably a short amount of time between now and the end of the formal session. So hopefully our friends in the House will take it up um, in those remaining weeks of the term. And, um, and then we'll be able to get a good, strong bill to the governor's desk for her signature. All right, Senator Becca Rausch, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me.